Good morning, Hoosiers, and welcome to Times News 24-7, brought to you today by Fourth Hawk Consulting. Your local news in three minutes or less starts right now. I'm Stu Clampett with today's top headlines. A Sheridan woman died Tuesday morning in a one-car accident just west of Sheridan on the Boone-Hamilton County line. Melissa M. Chenault, 34, was pronounced dead at the scene by Sheridan Fire Department medics. The accident is under investigation by the Boone County crash team, which responded to the scene to investigate. What do Sheridan Community Schools need? Well, the public is invited to share ideas during the district's next Smart Future meeting that will be at 6.30 p.m. today at Sheridan Elementary School. Through this meeting series, Sheridan Community Schools has embarked on a strategic visioning process to engage the local community and set a course of action for the next five years. Find out how you can help in today's times. Also in school news, district boundaries in Hamilton County will stay as they are, at least for now, although landscapes in parts of the county, particularly in Wayne Township, are expected to change in the near future. Andy Wirt, Assistant Planning Director for the City of Noblesville, along with Christy Langley, the City's Planning Director, updated the Hamilton County Board of Commissioners on plans as they move along with the development in Wayne Township. You can read all the details in today's edition. And if you missed your chance to attend the Noblesville's Our Lady of Grace Catholic Church Children's Mardi Gras Party this weekend, don't worry, you can catch up on the highlights on pages A1 and A12 today. Your forecast for today brings snow flurries with a high of only 10 degrees and wind chills will push that down to negative 14. Tonight will be mostly cloudy with a chance of snow and a low of negative 4, but the wind chill will make that feel like negative 22. Thursday should be sunny and cold with a high of only 6 and wind chills down to minus 24 once more. Expect overnight lows around minus 2 with variable wind. Friday may bring snow and a high near 18 with an overnight low of 16. That's today's local news and weather. Sports with Neil Burke is up next. I'm Neil Burke with today's sports headlines. Today in Hamlin County Sports, the Millers have returned to glory. After 19 long years, the wait is finally over for the Noblesville girls basketball team. On Saturday night, the 6th ranked Millers erased their sectional championship drought with an unforgettable 55-41 win over 9th ranked Fishers in the sectional 8 title game. Led by a team high 24 points from junior forward Alexis Shannon and another 12 from senior point guard Becca Bergman, the team won its third straight game at Hamlin Southeastern last week to hoist the trophy. In boys hoops action, Sheridan lost to Covenant Christian on Tuesday, 71-67. The Blackhawks had three players reach double figures, led by Brock Kitchell's 19 on 8 of 13 shooting. Jake Chesney finished with 17 points, and his brother Garrett Chesney followed with 12 points. And that was your three minutes of local news. For more information on these and other stories, click on our e-edition or pick up a print copy of The Times. For Times News 24-7, I'm Neil Burke.